Hello, it's your guy Joshua Victor once more, and today I'm going to talk about how to properly use the silver press blender. So if you don't want your silver press blender to smoke or jam and stop working while you use, then you need to follow this video till the end. I like to see this subscription to this channel is absolutely free. So I encourage you, please, this time as I am saying so, kindly subscribe to my channel, please. You're going to learn a whole lot at the end of this channel. Your silver press won't uh, burn or get smoke if you follow this video till the end. Okay, so let's jump right quick into the video of today. I'm going to talk about um, the operations of this silver press blender. And so I'm going to start with the buttons of this silver press blender. And please kindly notice or know that a lot of us we don't like reading manual. Reading manuals of the silver press blender on how to create it is very important. It's because we just feel it's a normal blender, so we can just jump into it and then we we'll start using it. I say that's not the case. If you look at the manual of this blender, there are a lot of instructions on how to go about different activities. And today I'm going to shoot a video on how to use the silver press blender to actually blend something very hard. This is coconut tiger nut to show you what this blender can do if you're using it properly. So let me start by introducing you to the different buttons for, for a start. This is the on and the off button. Sorry, this is the on and the off button. And this is the pause button. So the pause button, if you're facing your blender, is on the right, and the on and off is on the left, if you're facing the blender, okay? So this is a very powerful button. If you want to blend something like Tiger Nut, which is very hard, you need to start by using the pause button. You're going to hold the pause button for like five seconds and allow it to crush the hard nuts and all that. Then after crushing it, you can now open the on and off button. The pause button does not speed, so you have to pull it down and hold it for 5 seconds for it to do the crushing operation, okay? And then again, this is the, um, the level at which you want the speed to run. So this is a 5,000 watt silver press blender and it has up to 15 um, level of speed. The motor I'm using here is quite different. I like to say not all silver press blender are the same. Not all silver crest blenders are the same. There are some blenders that you will use and crush this hard nut, it will smoke and then it will pack up and will not work again. This is a different model of engine inside. This is the 9525, 9525 here. Yeah. We have the 9520 and we have the 7630. The 7630 is a small engine. The 9520 and the 9525 are the best and they are the ones that can handle this sort of activities. They are not supposed to be the same price, okay? So, if you're buying a silver press blender and you know you want to be using it for activities like this, then you need a 9525 motor or a 9520 motor. So, I'm going to go straight into the video and show you how we're going to crush this tiger nut and the coconut. We want, we want to make tiger nut with it and I'll show you how powerful the silver press can be. And so, if you have bought the 7630 motor, I'm sure you might not even be aware of that. Stick to making smoothie, puri, and all those soft items. But if you have purchased the 9525 and the 9520 motor, you can use it to do this. So, I'll start by giving you a tip. It all starts with the proper measurement. It doesn't mean that because it's a 9525 motor, you have to pack things and fold the picture doesn't work like that. Please don't do that. You're going to stress the machine and in no time it's going to start having issues. So I will say that you should use this um, pitcher jar. This is the jar as a measuring utensil. This is what you can use. Just measure this quantity of items and put into the pitcher or the jar and crush. That way the blender can handle it appropriately. So you can see I have measured it and I'm going to pour it into the pitcher. So as you can see, I have poured in the right amount of water that I, by my discretion, feel it can carry this process. I'm going to start with the pause button. I have put the speed on the lowest first. The pause button, which is a very powerful button, is going to do the crushing job for me. So I'm going to start with this first. Now watch me do the whole activities. So I 
we seen what just happened? The pause button has started the crushing process. I'm going to do that again and allow it crush further. You see what's going on? I just noticed the water is not enough, so I'm going to add a little water and then I'll continue with the blending proper. So I can just open the top from here. So now I'm going to on my blender and then gradually I seal in the speed. It's too powerful, my drain is even shaky. For like 30 seconds, you allow it to blend and you stop it, allow it to rest a little. Those, that, that's what you get when you read the manual. You don't just keep it running for a whole one minute and then you're gonna spoil it. Please don't do that now. No, come on. So, in 30 minutes' time, 30 seconds rather, I run it again. You can adjust the speed to whatever speed you want. So, you can adjust the speed to whatever speed you want, but don't take it to the end, please. It's not really necessary. So you see that I've, I've done this for like three times and I'm getting this consistency. So in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, but look at how this blender has turned this half nut into this fine particle. So I'm going to do the last one. So I'm going to turn the tiger knot into this burl so that you can see how fine the blender has kind of what this blender has done. Very magnificent. And look at what it did. Very fine texture. Can you imagine? Nothing was left inside. Crush everything, all the tiger knots. Can you imagine? And do you know that you can use this tiger knot to make um, it, uh, uh, fufu? Can you use it to eat the bar? The, the particle after you're done making tiger knots. If you dry it and then allow it to dry, you can come and um, grind it again into a very fine particle and you can use it to make it back for yourself. Nothing is a waste. That's agriculture for you. So please subscribe to the channel and keep supporting so that others can benefit.